thinking about quitting reselling to start my own brand due to competition and the band and the bad economy. I prefer to sell the same item over and over again. It will save me so much time. I mean, it's totally up to you. It's it's totally up to you because it's the first thing I thought of by reading that whether you start a new your own brand or not, the economy is still gonna be bad, <laughs> and competition is still gonna be there. So you're gonna have to deal with the same experiences, really, whether you st- whether you're reselling or you're starting your own brand. I think it's pros and cons to both. The good thing is if you've been selling, if you've been reselling for any length of time, starting your own brand is gonna be an easier transition, just because you're gonna be a little more familiar with um, just a business, you know, just to know it's gonna be. It's going to be tough either way, whether you stick with reselling or you start your own brand, it's going to be tough. The only thing is, is so much as a reseller, there's so much things that we leverage as a reseller. We leverage eBay's traffic. That's one thing people tend to forget about. Traffic is so expensive to drive to your own website, your own brand, your own anything. It was 2016. I started a a big cartel store and I was selling, um, thrifted stuff, bow ties, dress shirts, accessories. It was all lightweight stuff. It was like tie clips, those types of stuff. And I just called it the Dapper Advisor Boutique. And I was trying to, you know, just drive traffic to that site, just drive traffic, drive traffic. And I was doing Facebook ads and I was doing um, Facebook ads and Google ads. When I tell you the amount of money that I was spending, it was probably like 70 to $80 a week on Facebook ads to drive traffic to that site. It was ridiculous. Cause after a while you realize like you're just, you're just pouring money into this. It's not necessarily converting in sales, but you, but you have to keep pouring money into the ads so that you can potentially bring in some new customers. So that right there really made me want to lean more into reselling because I realized paying for traffic and obtaining traffic was insanely expensive. And that was just me running a very small, you know, thrifted, boutique online boutique if you will imagine people that are running like larger shopify stores and trying to drive traffic to that like it it can be expensive but i mean the one of the pros like you said just like you said selling the same item over and over again you know it's in terms of shipping it's it's a lot easier in terms of you know having a bunch of different poly mailers and box sizes and all these different things you have to do so pros and cons to either one uh, do you think things will turn around? Absolutely. Absolutely. The future is bright. <laughs> Trust me, the future is bright. Like I know sometimes there are days where I'm frustrated. Trust me, where I'm like, man, this is crazy. But things will absolutely turn around. It always turns around. I remember even I was talking about this a few days ago as well. In 2020, when we seen that huge boom, prior to that, things were pretty standard. It was pretty regular. I know I was doing well for myself. I was on YouTube sharing my sales. I was definitely like excited and proud. But then it was that huge, huge uptick of sales that happened from 2020 to 21. Then 22, it started to still progress, but it started to cool down a little bit. We started to realize that things were coming back down a little bit 23 started to really cool down now we're in 24 and we're kind of still experiencing that like slowdown in terms of sales but i think things are going to turn around just like how bitcoin turned around bitcoin at one point was like seventeen thousand at all time not an all-time low because at one point bitcoin was like 10 cents but bitcoin was very low seventeen thousand and then it turned right back around and up to like 65 almost seventy thousand. i think just a few days ago so that's just the way the economy is. That's just how business is. Um, and I think that one of the most important things that I keep telling myself is that business is all about making pivots. Being successful in business is all about making pivots and making the right pivots. And if reselling is one of those things that has its ups and downs, maybe you make a pivot and you just sell differently. You know, maybe you put an emphasis on local sales, or maybe you put an emphasis on flea markets or emphasis on, you know, selling something different online. It's just always about making those pivots. And for me, since I've been doing it for so long, I'm I'm not going to say I, I'm familiar with the 2008 Great Recession when that was really terrible. Just from research and how things were at that particular time, I, I still don't think we're as bad as that time. I was looking at one of the sales reports. I think it was on CNBC. They had said in the month of February, consumer spending went up like 0.4% or 0.7%, something small, something minuscule, but it was literally, it was basically just saying that it was starting to trend upward again. 
And for a long time, we were just trending down. Like I remember looking at the reports in January, consumer spending was definitely down maybe four or five percent. I remember Adidas lost money. Um, a lot of companies was just was reporting negative earnings. And of course, Adidas had their own thing going on with Kanye West as well. But when you just pay attention to the economy, you could see everybody was pretty much going on a downward trajectory. Last month, it started to trend upward a little bit. And I think towards the end of the year, by the end of the year, a lot of things will start to turn around it as well. But um, like I keep saying, as long as you do the work, as long as you're staying involved, as long as you're staying active, the only way that I think things don't turn around is if you quit, if you give up. That's basically when things kind of stay bad. <laughs> like if it's bad and you quit, it's probably just going to get worse. But for those that continue to push and make forward progress and continue to move forward, it absolutely turns around. Absolutely. A child says, I remember 08 and God will bless us. Stay strong in him. Amen. Amen. He going to bless us. He going to take He going to take care of us. Like I said, we, we do the work and he'll, he'll take care of us. It's trust in the process and trust in God. Boy, when I tell you there's been people that hit me up about you know the financial problems they may have losing a job or it might seem really bad it might seem like the end of the world as long as you don't give up you keep the true you keep the faith and it slowly turns around slowly but surely you might be down and out for a few months a few weeks but it always turns back around and i think just the older we get the the more that you become a little more um you become a little more aware of the ups and downs of business and in and life in general and I think for so many of us, I think it's just because, you know, with the pandemic and with just the way America has been for a while, we've been on, we've been trending upward for a long time. Like there's just been so much money flowing in and out of the economy. So I think a lot of people now, this is, uh, at least for me as an adult, I mean, in 08, I was 18, so I was still an adult, but as an adult with a family and responsibilities and stuff like this, running my own business, this is my first time seeing it, like witnessing sales being as as low, seeing the amount of uh, you know negative reports out there. This is my first time even paying attention to things this closely, but I've always been a student of the game. So seeing right on trend like this, it's going to, you're going to see highs and you're going to see lows. And right now we're just in a low, like, obviously we're going to go back up again, just just a matter of time. I think too, with this being an election year, it's always more money gets put into the economy during election years. It don't matter if you're Republican, Democrat, more money gets put in. People are trying to, you know, get their votes. They're trying to sway people. So money gets put into the economy. And when money comes into the economy, just like how on all of these uh, TV shows, you notice they don't even call Americans Americans. They call us consumers because once money gets put in and people get some money in their pocket, what do we do? Consume. And if you have something to offer, you have a proposition or you have some type of offer and people will buy. It's just about what do you have to offer? What's your proposition? So that's the main thing to keep in mind.